Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Tyagi. I am a cloud solution architect and today we are going to see uh, uh, the content and demos for new certification which Microsoft is going to launch in uh, mid-July uh, which is AG700. It's a network certification associate exam for Microsoft Network Associate Engineer. And once you finish this exam successfully, you will be awarded a certificate, uh, associate certificate named as Microsoft Network Associate Engineer. And it focuses on all networking concept of uh, Azure. So let's. Uh, so let's see who can take up this exam. So you should have knowledge of Azure networking solution. Uh, prior knowledge of Azure networking solution, how you can uh, do hybrid connectivity using Azure VPN gateway and express route and all those sort of thing. You should understand BGP protocol. You should understand IPsec. What is IPsec protocol? Routing, how to do force tunneling. Uh, right using route tables and you should with the help of cloud solution architect you should be able to responsibility of this certificate is you should understand how you can design uh, highly available secure and resilient networking solution uh, between your on-prem network and azure with the help of administrators and cloud solution architects you should be able to work on uh, de with DevOps engineer, application developer, and cloud solution architect. And you should have some administration skills like writing ARM templates, PowerShell, and so, so it's better you have AG104, which will help you in this certification also. So what is the timeline of this certification? You can take up this certification after mid-July and you, it will be in beta for some time. So I don't expect there will be other courses or other things, uh, other video courses you can follow since there is not enough content right now. So it's a new course. So I hope you, you can book it in beta and then take this course after 15th of July or later. So let's see what is the content according to Microsoft on this certification. So let's see what is the content on this. So it, ha it has been divided into five areas. So one is design, implement, and manage hybrid networking solutions, which will have uh, all VPN gateway, site to site, point to site, express route, uh, configuration of those, and understanding how you can design them it will also have how you can design them to be highly available redundant and also so on so it will have weight of around 10 to 15 percent and then there will be design and implement core networking infrastructure you will uh, it, it is the most part of it so 20 to 25 percent and then design and implement routing where you will have NVA route tables and all those for tunneling where you will design, which is 20 to 20, 30, 25 to 30 percent. Then it will be secure and monitor network. So you will have monitoring and security through firewall and all those things here, which is which they divided into 15 to 20 percent. And at last you will have design and implement private access to Azure services, so private link and all those sort of thing you will see in this section. So each section percentages indicates relative weight of each area on this exam. So in from second and third, you can get more, more question than the first one because it has more weightage than the other one. So let's see on next slide we are going to discuss one by one uh, we are going to discuss first one which is design implement and manage hybrid networking so in this part we are 
So in this slide, we are going to see how we can design a site-to-site -site VPN connection for high, high availability. So here we are going to see uh, highly available cross-premises prem uh, and VNet to VNet connectivity where we can see how we can have site to active 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 azure vpn gateway multiple on premises vpn device where we can have and we will see combination of both where we will have multiple vpn device on on premises network and we will have multiple device vpn network gateways configured on azure side and in VPN gateway design, we are going to see what are the different option we have to implement a hybrid connectivity. We have site to site VPN. We have variation of site to site VPN multi site. We have point to site express route and VNet to VNet connectivity between your Azure region. You can design, you can have one VNet in one region, one VNet in another region. So that we are going to discuss in uh, in in this section. We, we, we net VPN gateway design and then in in third section of this part we are going to in third section of this we are going to see what are the different option available if we want to uh, make John redundant uh, virtual network gateway in Azure and where we can deploy our VPN gateways in availability zones. So using gateways SKU, SKU. Uh, so you can do zone redundant, you can uh, gateways, you can do journal gateways. So we are going to understand the difference between those two. So So here we are going to see what uh, what are the different options available to make our VPN gateway highly available. When you configure a VPN gateway by, without any higher availability, by default, a VPN gateway, if you, there is uh, on-prem network and that is your Azure network and you are setting a site-to-site -site VPN, by default, a VPN gateway gives you a standby standby gate, VPN gateway or connection. So what happens is if there is an issue in this one, active instance of your gateway, it automatically fails over on a standby gateway. But there is, uh, there can be interest interruption into while if some, suppose somebody is using connection, it might go down for 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, while it is failing over to standby connection that is for planned in interruption but if it is uh, for unplanned it might go down for two to three minutes and if suppose it is a point to site gateway then what you need the your user needs to do they need to disconnect and connect again so you might have to communicate so that is a hassle a little bit hassle there in this uh, type of uh, architecture, you don't need any BGP configuration since there is uh, only one connection from your on-prem to VPN gate. So there is no multi-site connection, in other words. Then there is a second type where multiple on-prem device you can configure. And in this type of uh, connection what you do is you set up two VPN devices in a in on-prem network as you can see there will be on-prem VPN gateway 1 VPN gateway 2 and on Azure side you still keep like this setup this architecture where uh, you have only one VPN gateway configured on your VNet on Azure so here you what you need to do, you need to uh, on VPN on uh, Azure on v you need to create two network gateway local network gateways for each VPN device, and each local network gateway have unique IP address which you can configure. Here you need to have a BGP configuration; it is required. So you need to set up 
B, BGP VPN device must have unique BGP peer IP specified in BGP peer IP address property of that VPN device and you you and you should use BGP to advertise the same prefixes of of the what prefixes you have on on prem you should advertise them to uh, to same prefixes to your azure vpn gateway so traffic will be forwarded through these tunnels simultaneously you should also have uh, the local network gateway corresponding to your vpn device must have unique published ip address in the gateway ip gateway IP address property on your VPN devices and here you can for basic SKU you can have 10 connections and and for uh, a standard SKU you can have 30 connection for higher pro performance SKU so uh, so that, that 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 is the difference here on Azure side is still it's active standby but on uh, on on premise side it is on active active so it 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 secures you from uh, on premises failure but it doesn't secure you from if something if your active instance of your vpn gateway on azure goes down same same play interruption applies here what we have seen in a normal default vpn gateway by default option which we are calling So in previous uh, slide, you saw that there are two VPN device on on-prem side, but here we are going to do two VPN configure two VPN gateways on Azure side, active active, active one, active two. Each will have two public IP address. And there will be two tunnel, tunnel one, tunnel two to your VPN device using one connection only. So it will have a IPsec, two IPsec tunnel from your Azure network, which will be highly available on Azure side. So if suppose there is some maintenance or unplanned maintenance on this tunnel, the connection and everything will be withdrawn from this tunnel and it will be it will be it will all traffic will pass through from this tunnel tunnel 2 immediately and in this one since there is no vpn device uh, there, there is no bgp configuration needed and uh, only just you need to set up a connection to VPN gateway with the two public IPs. In another one where you will, you have uh, active active on both side, active on-prem, active, active Azure. So here you will have four IP sec tunnels. So one tunnel this, one this, one this, and one this. And here since BGP configuration is required in this one because there are two here. You have to expose same way we have seen in BGP configuration. You need to uh, expose BGP prefix for your Azure network. You need to have unique BGP IP addresses for your VPN device so to connect your uh, Azure networks. So same kind of configuration you need for BGP here and for this one uh, you will uh, create a full mesh full mesh of uh, of tunnels where uh, all gateway and tunnels are active from azure side so traffic will spread among all four tunnels simultaneously so it's really highly available uh, setup which we have seen until now so let's move to next next gateway type or highly available network architecture. So in this slide, we are going to see how we can do VNet to VNet connectivity, highly available VNet to VNet connectivity. Suppose in case in last slide, we saw that there were on hybrid connectivity where we had two VPN devices and 
to VPN gateway configured on Azure, but suppose there is a highly available net connectivity you need to set up between your Azure network on East US one and West US. So what you can do, you can have multiple VPN gateway configured on one site and on other site also you can have active active instances of your VPN gateway. You create one connection so here one connection and one connection but this creates four tunnels so anytime if suppose this gateway goes down there all will be always two tunnels through which traffic will flow same applies here if it goes down these two tunnels will traverse traffic will be traversed between from these two tunnels to your west us network from east us so it's really highly available architecture which you are seeing between your azure virtual network so here bgp is in last one bgp was required but here it is not required until unless you need transit routing over your vnet to vnet connection so in in next slide we will be going to see demo of all five architecture, highly available architecture of VPN gateway we have seen one by one. Please stay connected. We, since it will take time to set up VPN gateway and everything, please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel.